Alright, what's going on guys? It's Chev, and we're back here with another video on Pow World. We're continuing our journey here, leveling up, just doing everything. Yesterday, we ended up selling a whole bunch of different pals to some guy in a dark cloak inside of a really dark cave. So I'd say that things are going pretty well. So one thing I ended up seeing in here, yeah, I ended up seeing this. Pangolet's rocket launcher. I'm gonna buy it. I have to. I'm sorry, I have to. And now I need ingots. Now the question is, where am I getting these ingots at? Do I have any of them sitting anywhere? I don't have any ingots at all. I have none. So we have to find some place to like mine or something in order to get more ingots. Because now I think this is the point in the game where everything starts requiring a lot of different ingots and stuff. So the plan today is to attempt to try to find somewhere to go and mine and then I guess get a bunch of different guys that can also mine for us. Now these guys can go and mine and do stuff like, but apparently people are setting up bases in like ore fields. And then having like level two mining pals there that will then mine for you. The issue is that I don't think I have any. I don't have any that has mining level two. These are all mining level one, level one, level one. Except for this guy right here, this Tombat. This Tombat actually has level two. I should get more of these guys. And also if I'm going to try to get that rocket launcher, I should probably level up this pangolin. So last time all we did was like level up a bunch and find a bunch of different things. We also found this cave over here. That's where I ended up finding the guy. I marked it. Or it's around here somewhere. Now, I mean, I guess we can go up here towards whatever this desolate church thing is and go from there. So if you're enjoying these Power World videos, leave a like on this video. And also, I've been gaining a ton of new subscribers recently ever since this game came out. So if you're enjoying the Power World content and you're new here, subscribe. I upload basically every single day. I upload a lot. I have thousands of videos, man. This is all I like doing. All right, so let's ride our socks over there. Oh, I think that's the church right there. It's not even that far. Okay, not bad. Now we need to find an area that has like a ton of uh, ore. Okay, there's a little bit of ore here, but not a lot. People are saying that I should be building a base where there's like five ore. Ever seen that before? Four, five, six, seven, eight. And now since we have the base leveled up to at least level 10, we can also make a second base. So yeah, this is where we got to do it. Okay, I was gonna say, there's gotta be a fast travel thing over here. Boom. Okay, so is that the only area over there? I'm sure that there's more fields like this then. It's just the first time I've ever seen it. I was thinking that I would have to travel, like, somewhere up here. I don't know. I need to grab all these waypoints too, though, so. Okay, so the plan here is to set down a, a pal box. Too close to a special boss facility can't build in this area. I mean, I just needed to be in this area, right? I set it down right here, right? These things will definitely be in the uh, overall area. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's like eight ore things here. And I think you could get like 40 ore from each of them. So we can get over 300 ore here. Okay, so first, the plan here is to, since it's going to be super heavy whenever I go, I have to move the items from here to my other base because here I'm not going to stay here permanently. This will just be where all of the mining guys go. I need to be able to grab the stuff out of here and then fast travel back to my other base over here. So this is perfect. So I'm going to set up this whole mining facility thing. Uh, although I only have one of them that actually does the mining properly for me. I need to be able to make a berry thing where they can eat. I also probably need to make that hot tub thing for them to relax in. Then we got to put a feed box next to it. I think that's all I need. We put these two things down. This will create the food for whoever is here mining. They can go and eat whenever they want out of the box. So I need a guy that'll seed. I need a guy that'll water and maybe some cats. See, there's a workaholic cat. I can also put this down and I can also put this gum moss guy down. Then I can put Tom Bat down. Now Tom Bat should go and immediately go after these ore, right? Boom. Perfect. Okay. And now he and along with the cat and everything should also just move everything to this thing. So every time I port over here and I check this box, it should just be filled with shit. I'll go and put the ore in here to start. I'll also put a rock in here. I don't know if it's true or not, but I feel like it, it, putting these things beforehand, they'll actually put it there. It's the only wooden chest available, so they have to put it somewhere. Oh, I also need to make beds. That's the thing I needed. All right, bed here, bed here. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five of them here. We got six beds. So now it's just all about finding the things that will properly actually mine correctly. All right, so now everybody's got a place to sleep. We can put a campfire down, I guess, just for comfy sake. And now we need the hot spring. And then everybody's all set up over here. Now it's gonna be really slow because we only have Tombat doing the things there, but I need to be able to get ingots from this point forward. I need it. My weapon's damaged, fuck me. Yeah, I'm even using ingots to go and repair now. Oh man, yeah, I definitely need them that's gonna 100 is gonna be the bottleneck now holy spheres all right i'm gonna put king cock over here though because i don't need all of these uh spheres overall like two of them is fine the eggs also kind of produce some food so that'll work i don't know if eggs are used for anything else but he can go in there 
do your thing. Oh, it's so cool to have a second base. Holy shit, this is awesome. I didn't think I'd be capable, to be honest with you. What is the cat doing? Where's the cat at? I don't see the cat anywhere. See this guy? Oh, there's the cat. I was gonna say, yeah, you gotta pick these things up and put it. Yeah, look at him go. Beautiful. Yeah, good shit. Yep, pick all that up. Let's check how many we got. 20 already. Apparently, these dire howls actually run really fast. They're apparently faster than our socks. And apparently, our socks is actually really good at, uh, I, I just noticed this. He has a two in the uh fire thing in the fire category so he can actually do a better job than fox parks all right and then we're gonna set up a of course it's overlapping with other objects they won't fucking move all right help me build this guys come on there we go yeah don't go into the fire maybe i should build a furnace here too Eh, no. Nah. Also, apparently you want to be using this condenser thing right here. Uh, I don't have enough civilization parts to do it yet. But apparently this PAL Essence condenser, you can go and take all of, like, for example, all the PALs that I ended up selling to the black market guy. But maybe I could have used that for something better. Apparently you can take a bunch of the same type of PALs and then take their essence and somehow make another PAL stronger. All right, boom, we got that ingot. I want this rocket launcher. I really do. Also, I think I need to capture one of these dinosaurs as well. All right, hopefully we don't lose this fight. Time to go down, buddy. Ow. I don't have any better spheres than this. I, these will have to do. I got a lot of them. Oh! Got him! Finally got that dinosaur. Now, I think the dino can actually do a lot better uh, seeding than the other ones. Also, I think the dino can do multiple different types of seeding because it's got level two. Yeah, it's gonna just absolutely destroy this gum moss now. It's got two seeding, two logging. Boom. Well, this is a berry farm, another berry farm. We need a wheat farm. I don't have any wheat seeds, though. How do I get wheat seeds? Regardless, that dinosaur is gonna do a lot of work. It's coming together. All right, we got the level as well off of that. So what can we get here? Mega glider, stone structure, carpet set, toko toko gloves. Activate its partner skill to hold toko toko and use the fire explosive eggs. What the fuck? All right, let's see how many uh, ingots are over there now. It should be working when I'm not here, right? Surely. Only three. Are you guys serious? What the fuck are you guys doing? I can put some more cats down, I guess. It's definitely not efficient at the moment, but it will be. Wait, only three ingots. Oh, fuck. Wait, it takes two ore. I need this rocket launcher. I need it. I will not rest until I get it. Yeah, it's going. Yeah, put that ore in there. Now, how often can I shoot these rocket launchers? I assume it just has a cooldown like everything else. Pangolet's rocket launcher. Rare produce i really got to go out and capture like bigger things like getting that dino definitely made me feel good the deer also makes me feel pretty good these were things that i was really scared of early into the game i gotta figure out what the best like mining type guys are obviously the tombat pops off and, and i think i found that tombat at night there's gotta be a way to assign these things like permanently to a certain thing there has to be all right pangolet's rocket launcher all right let's get out pangolet come here Wait, you push it inside of the rock? No way. I'm sorry, Lamball. <laughs> Holy fuck! Wait, it kills him instantly! I didn't know it would kill him. Okay, it's a one-time use. Right. I am so sorry. I, okay, we just did a lot of investment for that, and, uh... I don't think that was worth it. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think that was worth it. Let's see what we can find around here. There might be something that's really good at mining around here somewhere. All right, it's gonna get dark out here, so we're really gonna be exploring. I think I'm just gonna, like, see what I can find up in this whole area, I guess. Temperature's good. We got our socks as well. We got clothing slash armor. We should be nice and warm. Should be fine at night. I'm hoping I can find like a like more just tombats. That's the only one that I know that has the level two mining at the moment. That's the only one that I know. Rush or doesn't have it. Vixie, I got enough of them. For some reason I feel like humans are probably one of the most useless groups in the entire thing. Well, the ones with just guns, they're pretty useless. What is happening up here? Level 20. Cinema. I've never caught these before. I don't know if I can. Alpha Dran. I am not fighting all that. Yeah, this thing is a it's a dragon. Wow. Okay. I don't think we could even fight like a level 20 thing, let alone a 30. Grintail 27. A 15 floppy. Floppy. It's very dark at night on this game. You think you could just get away with sleeping over it? Wait. This guy went to sleep as all of his friends got slaughtered by the dragon over there. There's another waypoint across the water over there as well. I really love the climbing aspect in this game. How you can pretty much traverse anything so long as you have enough stamina anyway. Uh, let's go back to the tower and hop somewhere else see if maybe i can see anything from here since it's nighttime as well wait i need that tombat hold on don't kill him i need this tombat <sighs> please capture it 
Needed that. Huge production plus. Another Tombat. No, what are you doing? Where are you going? Can I bring it? I got it. Another Tombat. These random humans are like the most annoying mobs in the entire game, straight up. It's much easier to spot certain types in the dark, 100%. Well, the types I'm looking for anyway, at least. Yes. All right, now we go back to this base, right? And then we go into here. And then we want to go combat, combat. Yes, sir. Get the line moving. Wait, where's their food box at? All right, guys. Wasn't my intention to have you guys starve. I'll go and take all the berries out of there and put them in here. Sorry. They were putting them in there and they can't eat out of that. All right, there we go. I already got 40 ore in here. I need everybody to stop going over the fire pit. Look at all the ore that they could be moving. I don't think we can fight King Paka yet. I think next video I'm going to go after King Paka, though. We have to level up. I got to go and catch a bunch of stuff and then level up in order to do it. But I'm a little disappointed in that rocket launcher. I mean, it's completely unhinged. Don't get me wrong. But I I really wish it was a way to not kill him instantly by doing it. that was 3000 damage huge damage is it possible that i go with like a whole squad of pangolets and then i just like fire them one after another I mean, it probably wouldn't be the best strategy but it doesn't seem that bad i got a caprity over here it's got level two seating i could just use it over here that's fine because i already got the dino on the other one anyway since it's 96 this is going to be very heavy for me right boom see over 1000 but because it's so close to the box, I can fast travel to my base. Put them over here. We go in here. Boom. We can make 50 ingots already. It's over. I've completed the game. I think maybe killing these dino guys might give me wheat things, but they're decently rare around here. I'll probably do all that before I do my next video, just so it's all situated and everything. And then we can really just explore all of this. And then we also saw quite a few different uh, pals that we've never seen before. So the idea for the next video is to level up, explore more, and also kill slash capture this King Packer. 32 of them back already. Yes!